Hi guys and welcome back to the Dynamics. Today we have our first ever Porsche on this channel. It is a Porsche 911 GT3 RS from 2016. Let's get right into it. Boom, here it is in front of us. You can see the amazing Porsche 911 GT3 RS in this amazing amazing green color now this was a extra i went for so when i got the car um, i didn't use a standard stock a uh, manufacturer paints i use a special sort of wrap style on this car because i thought you know what it looked sick like when i tried it and if you look at it now look how amazing it looks and look at the weather yeah it still manages to shine so well especially when it's sunshine it reflects on it so so good so yes yeah, so this is the porsche 911 gt3 rs it has 493 horsepower from a naturally aspirated flat six yeah that is right 493 horsepower from a naturally aspirated engine that's not even a v8 come on that is sick um, it has a four it's four liters so obviously there's a lot of displacement there but because it's naturally aspirated it means it sounds like this Oof, that is sound good now unfortunately it is snowing and we are using the paddle shifters here so yes yeah, so let's start driving Wow honestly like as soon as you start driving this car you can tell it's a Porsche like the quality of it and it literally just wants to get out and jump they're not even that heavy as well um, Wow I'm so so sad that it is actually snowing because I was looking forward to getting this car and pulling it out and then I realized we're in winter season oh honestly it was so 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 sad but you know what what, what can we do wait two weeks or whatever no point waiting come on I don't wait for anyone so yes yeah, so at the moment we're in a I can't remember the city but you can see it's quite it's like a town and the reason why I wanted this because of some photos that I wanted to take and it's nice to see the car in a city because it is a small car don't get me wrong but they're so powerful I mean there's a reason why Porsches are Porsches but enough of that nonsense let's start ragging this thing Straight into the snow. It grips so well even in the snow. Oh the police, the police, the police. Oh, we have to be careful there. Ah, they can't get us. <laughs> and you're gonna go into that. To be honest, I thought it'd be worse. That is such a screamer, man. Look at that 9,000 revs. Wow. Honestly, it's so sick. Look how it sounds. Like, come on, you can't love can not love that and it sounds so 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 good like for a flat six as well wow as soon as I heard this car I was shocked I was like oh, wow I didn't I, I wasn't even looking at the road I was literally just looking at the rev count <laughs> Let's see if the police are here. Are the police here? Nah. Police are not there. But you know what? It is. It, I can't believe, like, look, it's a rear wheel drive car and look how well it's handling. But let's take a look inside and see what's going down. Wow. <laughs> so, a classic Porsche display here, you can see the rev count and everything. It does look similar, especially with that stopwatch in the middle. And I like the way the center console is. It goes like this and then it goes that way for the air vents, which Porsche have literally always done that, especially in the 911, so it's, it's really good that they've kept that in this car. 
Bear in mind it is 2016, so it's not fairly new, it's not that old, but it's still certainly in this 2021, it's still certainly a, you know, a wicked car, man. Come on. Haha, <laughs> hear that? Bit of a different sound, obviously, because we are in the cabin. Still a screamer, but can you hear? You can hear more of the engine. What's interesting though, I wanna I don't know on the top of my head what tires are running. I know that there'll be probably minimum around three or five. But honestly, the grip so well. I mean look at the weather and look how I'm just sending it and it's not even spinning. It's gripping so well. Like I couldn't even see all the way then I couldn't even I had my handbrake on and it wouldn't go. This is the automatic version as well, um, so it does have the paddle shifters, that's why I'm using the paddle shifters, otherwise I would have used the manual gearbox. See, it just gripped itself back in straight away. even go just a bit above 9k can you see that so it's about 9.3k and it red lines up wow it is so fast i don't know how many times i want to say wow but you know what it's shocking the performance in this vehicle wow the tunnels come on some good Porsches out today sorry so you see an uh, old uh, what is that a 911 an old one some nice pops as well on the downshifts like on the drift should I say donut more like I just can't believe the amount of power this gives for any wow come on let's see this roundabout thing Completely gone that. Get some more speed. So around 60s when it will just go. You see, it straight away it brings itself back in. Like before when I was trying to correct it, uh, usually I'd have to like really, really press on the brakes for it to, you know, for the car to be going at a low speed. But with this, you can literally just do it straight away. It corrects itself. into there you see it's literally just planted itself and we even but there we're going but straight away it finds itself it finds a grip wow this view this view man. Oh. oh, 
ruined it. Oh, look at the, uh, the. I didn't notice that before. See the GT3S, GT3RS uh, display, the center console. You know, these rest counters are really lovely. on the pavement there so it was sort of cheating let me just check yeah yeah seven speed seven speed gearbox yeah you can see in first gear we can manage to get out 49 miles an hour that is really good for a seven speed Handling the turning on this is excellent. That's probably down to the front speed not too big. Because if you go wider on the front, it just um, changes the handling when you're turning. I'm literally just going on every bend, everywhere I can find. You've got to love the city, man. Edinburgh. Look how clean it looks. See, it's so snappy. Up here. Oh. Now with this car, I noticed when you do want to do donuts, you have to um, give it a bit more space because you can see it sort of limps forward a bit. Whereas like the C63, it doesn't really do that. It does it a bit, but Porsche engineering has to be one of the best. I mean, I think personally, after experience this in here, they do make the best three-wheel drive cars. Uh, yeah, man, come on. Would I ever get Porsche in real life? Who knows? But I'll tell you one thing, I'd probably rather have a Porsche over the Lambo. Just because they're easier to drive, well, easier to drive. I'd say it, the more, you know, you can go around shops with them. But even this will come in the city. This is a perfect demonstration how they're a more user friendly car because you can go in the city, you can do this, and just bring it out land horribly so we do a little launch here look at the snow as well and look at the weather for a rear wheel drive come on you gotta give it that I'm, I'm shocked at its performance it's still gripping I literally don't, didn't know where I was landing then. Like, usually I know every street, but I didn't know where that just takes me in. In fact, I don't think I've ever been there. Wow. Even when you try to, like, switch it out a bit, it just wants to snap in. Like, the force back on my feet, uh, the steering wheel, it, it's so precise. There I was on 8,000 revs, so you know you're getting a lot of the power. Full foot, and it's still it's grip. So now we're on the motorway, let's see what we can do. It's a bit twitchy. I'm glad I hit the car rather than going off because you know what, I thought I was going to lose it there. Honestly, I have to admit, it just feel a bit unsafe, like from past 150, I'll say 170. 
even now it feels a bit So you could see it was is running a bit out of juice. This is full foot down. But honestly, I don't, I don't even change my opinion of this car whatsoever I don't hate it I love it and my rate is still like a 9.9 .9 and just because of that tunnel run it's still not gonna go low down I mean look how good it sounds in the tunnel obviously you can see like now it is it's struggling to you know find that power because it is only a 4 litre and it is a, a 6 cylinder whereas the C63 for example that just hits 200 miles an hour like literally without any effort even on stock like it's 200 miles an hour car without a doubt but that's that I don't know why I'm comparing it to the C63 but uh, yeah I'm just talking about rear wheel drive cars in general like you can see I can't think of a 600 rear wheel drive car that I've actually driven in here to compare it with but the M4 yeah the M4 even the M4 this is better than the M4 without a doubt that's a GTS as well so you know GT3 RS is pretty much the same car with a big spoiler but yeah man what a car I just I'm, I can see the sun now I'm just disappointed that it is um, snowing if it wasn't snowing you know we could have had a bit more fun it would have been a bit more easier to send it's so precise but you see that I'm literally trying to send it Side, you didn't want to look sending, sending. Oh, that was good because I hit the edge there. It just literally just brings itself in, but yeah. So the sun, sun's going down now. You can see it's gonna destroy our camera. Nice to get a daylight instead of these lights, but yeah, guys. Well, let's find somewhere to park. Let's just park over here. So yeah guys, so that was the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from 2016, hope you enjoyed the video, plenty more cars coming, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share if you want to, but you know it helps me a lot, uh, shout out to all the new subscribers as well, you're helping a lot, but yeah guys, for now stay at home, stay safe, and peace.